Morning, Mrs. Fillery. My name is Dashwood. I told the agents not to send anyone else for the time being. No, Detective Constable Dashwood, Sunhill Police. Oh, that was a hideous thing. Sorry? The sign. <laughs> oh, you don't have to have one of those things, you know. The estate agent can't insist. Leaving no stone unturned, Ramsey. Finding one, actually, Sarge. <coughs> For his wheel. Disqualified driver lives up the road there. I want to catch him at it. At what? Driving. He's a minicab driver, works night. It's kipping at the moment. But if he moves his car, I'll know. This is your route back to the CID, is it? Ah, oh, come on, Sarge. Three convictions for drink driving. You want to use chalk marks on the curb? Here comes one, grey jacket. So how many's that then? Four in, three out. How long was he in there? About half an hour, same as the rest. So number four will be out soon? Yeah. Wait first, shall we, before we... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever done this before, Tosh? No. no. You? No. I don't suppose you've come to tell me you found my silverware? No, no, I'm afraid not. But the scenes of crime officer has found a fingerprint. Well, at least a glove print. And a piece of plaster scene on the bathroom window. I wonder if you could tell me about the people who viewed the house since you put it up for sale. You're suggesting a prospective buyer is responsible? A bogus prospective buyer, possibly. Can you recall any of their names? Well, surely the estate agent will have them, won't they? Well, yes, and I'll be going there next, Mrs Fillery. But I'm interested in what you remember. Now, all I really remember is a ghastly woman with a very loud voice telling her husband which walls she was going to have knocked down if they bought the place. I made up my mind there and then that they weren't going to have it. A husband and wife? About what sort of age? Fat, 50. Uh, dyed hair, lots of vulgar jewellery. Looked like market traders. <laughs> yes, I'm a snob. It's all right, Mrs Fillery. So am I. <laughs> But what I suggest is you get the bloke to ring back in about an hour or so. OK, Bob. I'll get back to him. I've got a mugging in progress, Tom. Oscar, this is 9-2. Are you receiving? Receiving 9-2. Attack in beta way. A white, male, mid-teens, medium build, fairish brown hair, red uh, baseball jacket, blue jeans, green t-shirt. Female victim appears to be unhurt. I'm going to stay with the victim, all right, Tom? You all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah? Got everything? Yeah. You thump you or anything? No, I'm all right. Thanks. Hey, 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 hang on a second. I said I'm all right. Honest, there's no need to bother. I'm going to be late for work. Hey, wait, 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 work and wait. You've just been mugged. Now, come on, where do you live? Over the road. Come on, then, let's get you home. Hey? Get you a cup of tea before we do anything else. What's your name? Hebbard. Avril Hebbard. Yeah, all right, Avril. Looks like you got your purse. Was there much in it? Ten quid, that's all. Well, that's enough. Which number? Number three. What did he do? Did he come up behind you? Good morning, Sergeant. Good morning, Clive. How's your life? Much better than Horace. Shut life. up! It's none of your business! Well, I hope she's not going to drop the price. People sometimes do if they've had a shock. Either that or they come off the market altogether. You do realise hers is not the first house for sale to be burgled around here. So what are you saying? Nothing. She's the first one on our books, anyway. D.A. Gunter was sole agents for Nine Regis Avenue. Yeah, they gave me a list of the people who viewed it. I want to check it against the people that you've sent round to see Mrs. Fillory's place. Uh, do you keep a record? Of course. I wonder if I could interest you in a starter home. There are still a few left on the new Tanglethorne estate. 
I'll be all right, though, thanks. Well, I'll come in with you, make sure you're okay, yeah? No, I always have No, I'll make you a cup of tea. Do it by myself. What's happened here, Mrs. Abbott? Have you been burgled? Look, talk to me, love. I'm only trying to help you. Was it the same guy? Did he break in here first and then follow you out into the street? Mrs. Ebbard, are we looking for a burglar as well as a mugger or he's what? He's not a burglar and he's not a mugger. He's my son. Number four. Hmm. It could be something quite innocent. Like aromatherapy, for instance. Or reflexology. You what? A reflexology. It's where they massage your hands and feet and it cures a headache. By massaging your feet? It cures other things as well. Ken Melvin's girlfriend, who's a medical student, told me that if you... Come on. <clears throat> Depends which parts you press, that's all. Neighbours do not complain about feet being massaged. Look on him. He was massage parlour. Yes. Oh, uh, you the equipment salesman? No? Well, you look like equipment salesman. Well, you do anyway. No, love, just customers. We had a bit of trouble finding you. There's not a sign outside or anything. No, well, I like to stay select. You know, just discreet adverts, word of mouth. Uh, was it a massage you wanted or? Something? Yeah, just a massage, that's all. Just a massage to start with, then see how you feel, eh? That'd be ten pounds each, please, dear. I don't suppose you can lend us a telecon agent, please. Cheers, mate. He's always fighting. It's the only time he's happy. You can tell he's been fighting when he comes in. He's all... hyped up. Except when he's drunk, of course. And when he comes in, he's still looking for someone to block him. Someone to eat me. He hits you then? Punches, kicks. Has done since he was little. More now, of course. Especially when he wants money. He didn't thump you this morning, though. seen what he's done. How old is he? Fourteen. You blame me, don't you? I can tell. I've always done my best. I've given him all I could. I just ain't time. I'm not making excuses because I'm on my own. He's my son. I love him. I don't... I don't like the little sod anymore. But he's mine. 743, this is 92. Are you receiving? 743. Nine two, are you receiving? Receiving nine two. Are you still hanging around that car, Ramsey? 
No, Sarge, of course not. Right, well, look, I want you to get yourself over to Miskin Manor High School and speak to the head of Miss Gallimore and make inquiries about a juvenile, Richard Stephen Hebbard. And if he's there, get him over to me. I'm at three beat away. Well, what's it all about? Assault and criminal damage. Apparently, he thumps his mum. Right. Any problem, get back to me, yeah? Understood. Where are you going? I'm going to be so late for work. Mrs. Hibbert, I'd rather you wait till we found Richard. Ring work, tell them you won't be We're able to... We're not on the phone. Where is work? I'm a dinner lady at my daughter's school. She's going to be worried sick if I don't tell well, We can get a message to them. No! It's none of their business. It's nobody's business. Mrs. Hebbard, I want to see Richard here. I want to see him with you. And we've got people looking for him. Let's give it a few minutes, shall we? Come on. I hope you tidy up. How old's your daughter? Ten. How does she get on with Richard? Keeps out this way. Laura's all right. Just an ordinary kid. I haven't brung her up any different. Why is he like this? Richard? Why aren't you at work, you old slag? How many times have I... Hello, Richard. Sergeant Cryer saw us arguing, Richie. Yeah. He wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's why he came back home with me. Did you want a cup of tea? I can make a fresh pot. How school today, Richard? I'm talking to you, Sonny. Off sick, and I. Yeah. Eight seven from five three zero receiving over. Receiving five three zero. Yeah, Gov. Not a lot of joy at Mason Ermage. I'm now making my way to Mega Homes. Yeah, I'll join you in the pub in the Britannia as arranged. Ten minutes. Yeah. You will shout, remember? <laughs> it's not, is it? Look, Gov, can you make that twenty minutes? I'm going to give the starter homes a miss. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you wouldn't fit anyway. You had to be built like Cosimodo to live in one of these. Can you come in? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, it's this. A couple of names that weren't processed. Your list of prospective buyers. Mr and Mrs Rudge. Just a phone number. Yes, I remember they were staying in hotels. They'd just come back from being abroad. So? So, the number is a pub, and the pub have never heard of Mr. and Mrs. Rudge. One of my colleagues just called up to tell them about a new property. Can you remember what this Mr. and Mrs. Rudge looked like? Cash buyers, 300 grand plus. You know, not a lot through the books type of people. Fat and 50, dyed hair, lots of jewellery. That's him. Him? I don't remember a lot about her, except for her voice. Loud, was it? Mouth like the Dartford Tunnel. And you've not seen or heard from them since? Not a thing. Ah. Tell me, Julie, are you leasehold, freehold, or vacant possession? Under offer. But I'm quite happy to be gazumped. She got those tapes you wanted. Sold out, ain't they? You should give me the poxy money on Saturday like I asked. Where are you going, Rich? Miss Brewer. Right. Hey! Don't you think you should help your mother clear up? Well... See him. No, you can leave us alone. So you're not going to press charges for the damage done to the house? I'm arrested. 
I'll take him into this world. What chance has he got if his own mother has him nicked? Mrs. Hebert, the problem is not going to go away. Look, I'll tell you this. If I'd seen as much as a bruise on you out there in the street, I'd be running him in now. Well, you didn't. Have you got a social worker? Worker. I don't need my life run for me, thanks very much. And I don't want my child taken into care. Do you know what they call the little children's home round here, do you? The rent office. Twelve-year-old girls on the game, and boys. And you think I should send them to that? Well, it wasn't reflexology. No. I felt quite embarrassed. Well, you did as well. Yeah. I haven't changed my socks all week. Oi. What? Hang on. I see what. Oh, dear. Just dropped my motor round the corner. 50 quid for a tune-up. I'm in the wrong business. Right, is it a house of ill repute or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, then. Well, you can come back this afternoon and nick the old slag. I thought she was quite a nice sort of person, actually. What, Kim Hammersley? But well, hardly seems fair, Gov. She's going to get nicked for providing a service, and the guys who demand the service get away scot free. Not if they've been with Kim Amsley, there, though. Anyway, it's an arrest, Jim. Boost the clear up rate. Come 1992, this will all be legit. In line with EEC regulations. Have you ever been to Amsterdam? Amsterdam? Yeah. I went as a kid to visit the bog fields. Never mind. Drive on, Carver. I'll buy you a cherry aid. Call us if there's anything you can't handle, Mrs. Hebert. That's all we ask. It's a little bit ashamed of. I'm not trying to spit up anybody's family. We just don't like people being thumped. Okay? Bye. Swan. What? For these burglaries. He retired to Spain. Vera told him to. Mason Ermidge sent a dodgy looking couple, fitting their description, round to Mrs. Fillery's place. Mega Homes have got a couple of the same description on their books. They're viewing two houses today under the name of Donald. Now look, now I've checked with Hollis. Rubber gloves and plaster scene are definitely Bobby's MO. He couldn't go up a drain pipe nowadays, not even with rent a god behind him. You know son Jeff came out of stir last month. The sudden graft that you will put in, Michael, just to avoid buying a row. All right, what time's the next appointment? Ten minutes from now. Come on in, let's go. Hello, it's Jim and Alf again. Oh, back already, dear. Hiya. Just me at the moment. Paul has just popped out for a yoghurt. For lunch. Oh! Oh, look, um, I'm sorry about this, love, but, uh... Kim Hammersley, I arrest you. Oh, surprise, surprise. Paula said there was a smell. I'm too trusting, that's my trouble. You want to listen to any regular clients and all? Oh, well, not really. You see, if you're keeping a... a disorderly house, dear. That's what we was called in me mum's day. There you are. I'm very methodical. Well, there's not much I can do about them. You see, in the eyes of the law, it's you that's guilty. Yeah, well, the law's a man, isn't it? Well, go on, have a look. Be nosy. That's what you pay for. We should have told her we were coppers. We might have got the discount. Oh, now that is definitely a Bobby Swan type motor. Nice way to spend your retirement, sussing out other people's drums for the younger generation to turn over. Bobby Rudge Donnelly Swan. <laughs> Go on, look at that Vera. Do you reckon he's going to miss her when he's back inside? <laughs>
Hello, Bob. Hello, Frank. You house hunted as well? Featured of this one, mate, just paid Mr. Van and cash on the nail. She fell in love with it straight away. Hello, Vera. Young Jeff, is he uh, going to have his own key, Bobby? Or will he use the bathroom window? Nine two from seven four three receiving over. Right, Pete, receiving. Sounds like we've got a right charmer on our hands, Sarge. Never picks on boys, just girls and women. It's nothing sexual, he just lashes out like. According to Miss Gallimore, the father was much the same before he walked out. She also says she's heard on the grapevine from the junior school that the mother often has a black eye or a fat lip. Common knowledge, apparently to us. Yep, yeah, right, thanks. Oh, by the way, your red Cortina, it's gone. In a hurry, Sergeant. Yes, Clive. I wish I could be. They tell me the hospital, I gotta keep myself hey, look, moving. I'm sorry, I'll talk to you tomorrow, Clive. I, I say it to them, you know. Yeah, I know. Oi. Megson. Been down the offy? Yeah. In your car? Nah. Well, the engine's warm. My neighbour turns it over for me. Oh, yeah. Poxy kid's been chalking all over the pavement again. Uh, Megson. You forgot to put this back on your wheel. Oscar, it's 9 2. Are you receiving? Receiving 9 2. Yeah, I've got a GVH with intent at three beat away on a WPC with an ambulance. 